the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. My name is Scott Henbury. I am the Vice President of Sales for Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Great Western Brewing Company. Yeah, our support of curling started a number of years ago and we re recognize that curling is a phenomenal sport that's uh, very popular across all of Western Canada and in fact across all of Canada. Our partnership with, uh, with Team Flash is phenomenal. We uh, love the support that you guys give us. And, uh, and we certainly feel that uh, you know, we have a good partnership with you guys and uh, it's, a, it's a reciprocal relationship and you know, we certainly uh, wish you guys all the luck at the uh, upcoming trials and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully here back here in Saskatoon. Here at Red Arena, we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon and now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. Welcome to the Penticton Curling Club and the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. We are in draw six of the Penticton event. My name is Melissa Saligo, and I am joined here by a guest commentator, Paul Tardy. Stole you away from coaching for this event. You did, yep. John uh, decided not to show, so... <laughs> Did you take him out or did you just... No, I didn't actually. No, it's, okay. It's, All right. It's well, a good Paul. Talk for John, but yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, welcome, Paul. I'm glad to have you in the booth with me. Uh, today, we're going to be featuring on Sheet D, John Epping versus Jonathan Buke. And we are just waiting for the teams. They're doing the draw to the button right now for them to determine who has hammer. Oh, beautiful draw there for Team Epping. Right on the pin. Ryan Fry puts that one right on the pin. So I believe it's Tanner Horgan throwing the last stone here. Draw to the button. We've got six sheets of action going on during this draw six. On sheet A, we have Sebastian Robillard and Neil Dangerfield, Battle of BC. On sheet B, Glenn Howard versus Jim Cotter. 
on sheet C, Cameron de Jong versus great. A wide now. Uh, Sean Gill, another good. battle BC. Line, Next to us on sheet good. E, we have Jason Cam and Yuta Matsumura. Right, and right. over on sheet F, I guess the sheet you'll be watching, Paul, <laughs> is Matt Dunstone and Tyler Tardy. I may glance over once in a while. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty glad we could steal you just for this draw. That's kind of nice. Yeah, very exciting, my my debut. So. Right on. So you have to make jokes and stuff because that's John's role. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a hard ask. <laughs> So based on the draw to the button there, Team Epping will have Hammer here in the first end, just doing the final measure. Yes, and the teams get to uh, throw away one of their uh, last known draws in the event of a tiebreaker. Waiting for the. See, so I've done three games with John already, and at the end of the game, I believe it's called. Um, was it appreciation of gratitude? No. Now I forget what he's saying was, but. Anyway, so in, in, in lieu of shaking hands. Oh. Pump Come on, way, stay with me. Like stay that. with Sorry, me, Paul. Sorry, not familiar with that term. <laughs> <laughs> They're all new terms. Okay. John, John just makes them up, and I, okay. I gotta follow along. Gotcha. We'll keep the uh, the train alive. So Team Buke one and one so far after two games and 0 and 2 for John Epping not the start that he was likely looking for pretty much has to win out his pool I would think to even have a chance to get into the final 12 purse prize $86,000 well very impressive thank you to all the sponsors for their support of this event a terrific event certainly for our, for our team because uh, one of the few events that uh, we don't have to travel outside of British Columbia for for a, certainly an event of this caliber so it's fantastic for us to drive somewhere yeah lots of BC teams in this event and a great way to showcase the up-and-coming teams some of the veteran teams and of course other yeah, teams across the country and some international teams so I've got a chance to watch this sheet. Obviously, we've been doing this sheet continuously yesterday and today. There's a couple, there, there were some interesting struggles along the way, and I think you guys played on this Lines sheet good. yesterday, Paul. Lines yes, good. we played uh, Red Lines Rocks good. and had, it seems like yep. the, uh, the throwers Lines had some good. challenges with, with a couple of those rocks. So we'll see how, uh, how Team Epping manages. So team Epping again with the red stones, with Hammer here in the first end. Center guard goes up by Scott Chadwick. And just slipping behind the T-line there is Brent Lang. So both these teams very comfortable with playing with lots of rocks in play. Line's good. Looks like your boys haven't even started yet. Typical tardy. <laughs> Always late to the Slip. party. Yep. All right. Line only. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Line only. Back, back eight. Yep, back yep, eight. yep, yep, yep. Hard. Back eight. Uh, well, okay. Typically, this ice is, has a late late uh, break point. It's, it's curling quite a bit, but late it finishes really really hard so you have to kind of sweep through the break point and it's running anywhere from about 14 and a half to 15 and a half seconds hog to hog so just lovely ice to to play on one thing we're keeping an eye on though is the paths if you 
go outside the paths that you've been accustomed to. The weight is very different. So that's one thing that we will keep an eye on. Yeah, for most of the time in our game, we were playing inside of the eight foot. But if ever late in the game, you have to go a little wider for the draw to the four, it's, it's fresh ice out there and it's, it's a bit of a guess on the weight. What a nice shot there by yeah. Brent. This is Team Buke and Tanner Horgan holds the broom and actually throws last stone as well. And this is his brother Jake Horgan. Trying to get it past the guard. Good brushing. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Oh, yeah. Just going to hang around in the back 12. What a roll. Again, a big shout out to all the sponsors here that have helped put such an amazing event on. This draw is sponsored and featured by New Floors Penticton, sponsored by Edward Jones and RPR whoa, whoa. Heating. Yep. Whoa. So thank yep. you to our local sponsors. Yep. Just rub the top, perfect weight. I guess that's one of the things we've been seeing, and I'm sure you've seen it on other sheets too, Paul, is you, you can almost get the by the guard by four to six inches, if not more, and it has a really late finish, as we've mentioned, so you can finish it past the guards. Yeah, we were caught a few times finishing rocks, trying to get them to curl, and over curled them, finished them right into the, the guard, so not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Not the A plan. Not the A plan, for sure. But you see sure. it hanging out there and you think, oh, we better finish this hard, and then suddenly it's gone. Whoops. Yep. Whoa. Second stone here for Jake Horgan. Whoa. Whoa. Clean, clean, clean. Whoa. Whoa. Trying to hit and stick for sit two, but unfortunately does roll out. That's a little bit of a miss there. Good chance for Team Buke to... Put some pressure on Epping and actually have forced them, and now things have changed. Yeah, now John has seen this path from the last one, so he he knows what to expect here. So I think they'll make this one pretty good. Team Epping preparing for the trials in a few weeks to come, but before that, Team Buke actually going to the pre-trials, and I believe you'll be seeing them there. We will be seeing them there, yeah. We're uh, leaving for Nova Scotia next uh, next Sunday for uh, the long trip to the other coast. And uh, yeah, that's uh, two pools of seven teams, so 14 teams of wow. women and men's there. So it'll be uh, quite the large group of teams. And from BC, we have uh, our team there for uh, the men's and uh, the ladies have uh, Corinne Brown, who almost got a spot through the the women's trial event. So, hope to have a good week out there. We have good vibes, Melissa, as you remember, being out in that very arena a few years ago. That's right. I think I I remember being there actually. I, I the World Championship, Junior Championships were there a couple of years ago. Team Tardy taking home the gold medal in the World Championship. Probably the last time we sat together on a bench. I think so. I think so. <laughs> You're right. I retired after that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Retire a champ. Good plan. Absolutely. Smart. Jonathan Buke tried to actually make the double. They were trying to hit half a rock inside and roll towards that other red stone. I, I think red is second shot here, so still a good chance for John Epping to set up a potential deuce in this first end. Ryan Fry looking for the hit and stick. Yep. 
Down there looking for a little hit and roll under here. Very weight sensitive, this ice. So it's really on the, the weight they're comfortable in throwing. The softer weight you can certainly get more finish with. Sweepers are more involved with, so you tend to see more, more weight thrown less than normal. Yeah, this is the kind of ice for sure that you want to bring the sweepers into almost every shot if you can. Just with the strength of these guys and the ability to make rocks work their magic. Second stone for Ryan Fry. Board. Whoa. Weight's good. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. I like the sit right there, I think, Paul. He doesn't want to roll, give any yeah. potential double opportunity, even if he can flip a little under, which is absolutely nice. perfect. Yeah. I got a 10 8 on that. I'm doing my, you know, coaching thing and timing right rock. On. So, yeah, very nice, soft, workable weight there from Ryan. Tanner's trying to figure out how to not give up two here. It's thinking about the freeze, but it is the first end. The freeze is good. You can get out of this, but again, it is the first end. Weight's not exactly in your back pocket yet, potentially, so just don't want to chunk off. Straight run back's not easy either in no. the first end. And yep. I watched Tanner's game yesterday, and they uh, he had to play quite a few of these in this game, in that game, pardon me, so. At least it's a shortish one. Yes. Right on the nose, he'll actually stick it. Last thing he wants to do is miss it all together and give a, give a potential three opportunity for John Epping, so. Right now, I think a win for, for Tanner is to force him to two, to take two. Yep. Whoa, curl, curl, curl. Whoa, whoa, shot, shot, hurt. He's close. Oh, okay then. <laughs> what a shot. I was hoping for the nose run stick there, but uh, fortunate to pull off the, the double. What a shot what a by shot. Tanner. <laughs> Great line call. We knew he was close all the way down. It was a yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. Those are always good to hear as a sweeper. Now John, who was potentially looking at a an outside chance at at least a two, now is uh, trying not to get forced. <laughs> so huge shot from Tanner there. John would be happy now, as the ties have changed here, to get the blank. So trying to double these two blue stones out. Might be able to actually hit and stick right in front of it as well. He's throwing a softer weight. So I think that's what he might be doing, Paul. My goal is not to call you John too many times this okay, broadcast, perfect. but I'll try. Okay. Uh-oh, this one's over curling, I think. Oh. Wow. Well, a real opportunity now for uh, Tanner. If he can bury one, he's going to force John to potentially draw a new path here because that rock is over a little bit off of center. Paths are still fresh out here in the first end. And that's one of the things about this event is, uh, you know, in some events you may get nine minutes of practice, unlimited rocks, or two up and two back. But this one is only one up and one back. So you're really only sweeping the draw path to the button. So anything outside of that path is fairly new. So it's it's often challenging in the first or second end when you're going through these new and used paths to figure out the, the right way. Throw it to the sweepers, they say though, right? <laughs> That's what they say. I can't do it. Team Buke's game yesterday. I don't think Tanner threw a draw till about the fifth end. 
well, he was throwing all these double good. runbacks and takeouts and everything. And so this is a huge opportunity for him now to get some draw weight in his back pocket. Trying to drag this in. Oh, he's got a nice looking shot here. Yes, yes! What a great, great shot. shot. Perfect. Nice pair there by Tanner Horgan. So a couple of rocks ago, I would not have guessed it was going to be a force. No, we had uh, almost red red in that position where the two blues are. So You're right. Yeah. <laughs> completely changed. Yeah, I'm getting that time too. Just talking about the weight there. So John got a number from, from the front end. So he's just got to match the weight that uh, Tanner just threw in this track. Final stone, John Epping with hammer here in the first end, drawing against two. I think he needs a piece of the button. Full four piece of the button. Sweepers are close here. Oh, it just slides back. That just slides a little bit too far, so it is a steal of one for Jonathan Buke here in the first, and we'll be right back after a short break. sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. My name is Scott Henbury. I am the Vice President of Sales for Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Great Western Brewing Company. Yeah, our support of curling started a number of years ago and we re recognize that curling is a phenomenal sport that's uh, very popular across all of Western Canada and in fact across all of Canada. Our partnership with, uh, with Team Flash is phenomenal. We uh, love the support that you guys give us. And, uh, and we certainly feel that uh, you know, we have a good partnership with you guys and uh, it's, a, it's a reciprocal relationship and you know, we certainly uh, wish you guys all the luck at the uh, upcoming trials and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully here back here in Saskatoon. Welcome back to the Penticton Curling Club and the New, For New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. My name is Melissa Saligo, joined here in the booth for the commentating debut, Paul Tardy. Paul, interesting first end. There's a, it was, looks like it was all team Epping for a while there. Yeah, there was a big, big switch there when Tanner made uh, the run. It was looking, uh, looking like a potential multiple for, for John there. And then Tanner made a lovely run, managed to clip both out. So that was fairly fortunate, but then uh, made a nice come around and forced John to really draw to the button for his one and just got in a path there that slid a little bit more. So quite a change of events there throughout that end. <laughs> and on the break, we, we did hear uh, Team Epping talking about the rocks and, and we know that some teams have been struggling with those red rocks a little bit. So just trying to figure out what is the best pair for each person. So great. Great start there by Scott Chadwick for Team Buke. Center guard went up and then followed by a nice come around. This is Brent yep. Lang, lead for Team Whoa. Epping. Yep! Whoa! Yep! Yes! It's 
quite impressive over the years. I'm looking at the uh, the jackets for Team Buke and the number of uh, of sponsors. You know, it's great to see uh, curling getting that much support. You know, from a variety of sponsors. Great for curling, and certainly the uh, as the live streaming picks up, it's great for everyone who can't come out either through COVID reasons or just the distance for all the family and friends to be uh, you know, watching these games from their home. So it's, uh, it's really great for the fans. It's, so been, it's been so great to be here and for, with curling.com and bringing you all these games, streaming every draw of this championship or this event, I should say. And what another great, great shot, nice under. touch. And that's what you were talking to or alluding to earlier, Paul, is that nice soft weight where you can bring your sweepers into it every single time. You can control a little bit more about what it, what the rock is doing. However, again, we, you, you did mention that you, you have to be very careful, though. You still have to get by those guards by a certain amount of space. If you uh, overcook it, it, it will curl late. Oh, great run back there. Almost a stagger on those two red stones, so this is a, a chance for Jake Horgan to put another one in behind. Might be able to run that one red stone back, I think. Yeah, I think if, uh, if Team Buke makes a really good top four here, I wouldn't be surprised to see John play the double peel and just try and get out of this end. He certainly doesn't want to give up a, a steal back to back, so he's not gonna yep. take too many chances. Yep. Team Buke really on it today. Playing very well so far. It's like a single peel cross, cross face, maybe double here. Trying to leave that uh, red that's slightly off the center line as a potential rock to bury around later. Yep. This is Matt Cam. Oh. Cleared things up a little, I would say. Yeah, got a lot of rocks moving there. As you said, he, he kind of wanted to keep that other red stone, but th that one overcurled, so. A little opportunity here now. It's, it's not easy to put a perfect guard on this particular stone. So we'll see how they do. You like that line? Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the things we found too, is if you clear the front and leave the other team to try and throw this shot, it's, it's not an easy shot. Just having a quick look uh, across all sheets here on sheet A. Neil Dangerfield out with a 3 nothing Line's lead good. early Line's after good. one end of play over Team Robillard. Howard has a one nothing lead over Team Cotter. Team Gill puts three on the board over, over Team DeJong. Can't see she eat right now and a blank over on sheet F, Tardy Dunstone. Team Eppingham now has a chance. See a little bit of this rock so they can come down with the soft weight. First rock for Ryan Fry here in the second end. Just throw. Yep, yep. Hard. And there you see it, Paul. Once it makes that break, it Whoa. just goes sideways. Great brushing. Go off, Fry. Great shot, just through weight. Nicely done. But yes, a bit of panic in the mid, <laughs> middle of the sheet when it starts to break. You're like, oh no, <laughs> too late. Normal, okay. Pretty much dead buried. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scott. Whoa. 
What a great, great call, shot. great shot. You know it was close when it was kind of an on and off and yes and no. Does leave it exposed, but really great shot by Jonathan Buke. Hack. Ryan Fry yeah. throwing halfway, oh. trying to get the hit and flop yeah. in behind that yeah. blue center guard. Nice shot. shot. Great shot making by both these teams. Even if you roll out in the open, it's pretty good. Yeah, what did they throw? Like just through the house? Yeah, I think you got lots of room to pull. Yeah, Tanner's just trying to match the same weight that, uh, that Team Epping had just thrown with that turn around there. They managed to get to center, so. Second and first rock for Tanner Horgan. John yep. Epping with yep. the hammer Hard. here in two. Hard. Hard. They pretty much Hard. started this right out of his hand. They've been sweeping it the Hard. whole way, trying to get it Hard. by. Oh. Perfect weight, just could not hold it. And you see that somewhere around halfway down the sheet where it starts to make that break point because it just wants to hang. And if it hangs, nothing happens. But then if it breaks, it's kind of a panic sweep. Do you think the side will be kind of the same what I threw last end? Yeah. Okay. I so I think split, split center would be awesome. A little, the old uh, half and. I was what, back four in my last one? Yeah. Similar. I think you're going to be yeah. same way. Great conversation there with his front end, John Epping. Looking to put this one, biting the center line in the rings if he can. Show a piece of both of his red stones for Tanner Horgan on, on his last. Line's great. Top eight. Gonna over curl, whoa. Okay. Whoa. A lot of late finish there. Came out the other side. Just a, just a hair low. Yep. Tanner hoping to repeat the run double from the first end here. <laughs> oh, he's made it once before, why not? Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of other options. <laughs> so. Anywhere close to the nose is fine, I guess. In turn. And when you look at the scenario, Paul, I mean, he, he could try and play the same shot he played on his previous one, but pretty much guaranteed giving up a deuce if you do that. This is the only way, risk versus reward, yep. that he doesn't give up yep. a deuce, but also hard, the slight hard, chance hard, of giving up more than two. Hard, hard. Okay. Oh. Good try, good effort. So for John Epping, last stone to come. An open draw anywhere on the paint for his two points. Good attempt there by Tanner Horgan. Yeah, a little unlucky for Tanner there. He made contact of, of both the rocks in the house, but uh, the angles weren't quite in his favor.
Here we go, John Epping, last stone. In the second end of play here at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. We said a little more here. When you get out to the wider part where it's straight, it carries quite well. You had to wait for it forever to get by that top one. Oh. And just slides onto the paint. So it is two on the board for John Epping. And you can see the <laughs> questionable As we say, face. never a doubt. Never, never a, a doubt. doubt. It is 2-1 Epping over Team Buke after two. Here at Red Arena, we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. Welcome back to draw number six at the Penticton Curling Club in beautiful Penticton, British Columbia. You see John Epping putting a two on the board. Never a doubt draw for two. Never a doubt. <laughs> it's money all the way. Just got by the guard. So two on the board and it's a 2-1 lead. Epping over Buke heading into the third end of play. Paul, you guys getting ready for the pre-trials coming up, as you say, you're leaving next Sunday. How's the preparations been going? It's been a pretty uh, full season for the guys this year. You know, they, uh, I haven't followed them around everywhere around the, the country or world. Uh, they went to uh, two events in Oakville early in September. They were invited to the uh, curling night in America. And then, um, I don't remember where else we went before Swift Current. We were just in Swift Current. Oh, we were in Okotoks before that. So uh, some of the players flew. I drove out to, uh, to Okotoks, which is just south of Calgary. And wow. had an event there, then drove back from Calgary. And then we flew out to, uh, to Regina to go to Swift Current. So that's, you know, sort of a two, two and a half hour drive from Regina out there. Had uh, a good week in uh, Swift Current there. And then, uh, you know, if you've ever flown with me coming back, uh, I'm not the, <laughs> I don't have the best flying luck of, anyone so of no surprise our uh, plane that we were supposed to fly out of Regina back to uh, to Calgary had a bird strike uh, yeah, and that plane was, was grounded and then they couldn't get an alternate plane so by the time we uh, we left Regina it was yep. midnight and then yep. uh, got into Calgary and of course our yep. our connection Calgary Vancouver had long left <laughs> so we were yep. found ourselves in in uh, in Calgary overnight and then just got home uh, and then left driving back here to Penticton the day after. So it's, it's kind of yep. been wow. all curling all the time. And I have to be honest, like prior to this story, everyone keeps saying I'm the bad luck person mm. been flying. Like every flight I'm on, no matter what I do prior to COVID now, mind you. So I really think things have changed for me. Like I've knock on wood. I've been pretty successful with my flights. I am not flying with you. No, That's what I'm hearing. probably not a good idea. Even the uh, the flight from Calgary to uh, to Vancouver, we were supposed to depart, and then apparently the the captain came on and said the the baggage handler uh, had driven the the baggage cart <laughs> into the plane, and it had to be looked at for re repairs what? or not. <laughs> yes. Oh my and goodness. And then in Vancouver, the uh, the baggage chute jammed, and we couldn't get our bag. So yeah, other than that, it was fine. <laughs> so you're driving to Liverpool? Is that what I'm hearing? I think so. Yeah. It's a nice. <laughs> Probably five-day drive. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> so 
couple, uh, kind of a half shot there by Brent Lang, unfortunately for that one, a little heavy. Ticks and rolls off to the back eight. So a great opportunity here now for Jake Horgan. Get another one fully buried behind those two guards. Line's good. T, a little heavy, a lot heavy. So that wide, this. fast spot there. We found uh, sort of mid-eight in the middle ends here. It really carries. Okay. You want to freeze again? When a team, your opposition, gives you a little bit of an opening, the one thing you don't want to do is give it right back and that was a uh, another mistake there by not another mistake pardon me a, a mistake you like that? by Jake so a little bit of an opportunity here now for John Epping Matt Cam you can see I don't know maybe yeah, seven eight to that wrong maybe all that was my first thought yeah, I think he's got a chance of the soft shot out I think he's just freezing here I thought he might just tap that back line try and roll under Ryan Fry trying to really hold this hard. one. Really hard. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. This one's a little light, maybe. Whoa. No, not too bad. Just an overcurl. An overcurl on him here, yeah. Okay. Good finish near the center line. Once you get in uh, near the house. Just not as, they're just kind of... Lobby Second end, we're going to have lots of rocks in play. Just a couple here. Start having a lot of taps to the back before, and then they pile up. <laughs> Second rock here for Jake Horgan. Just wants to take about five oh, feet off or so yeah. of his previous yes. shot. Hard. Mine was perfect. When you see this one get into the center line pretty pretty fast there, Paul. I think he's going to be all over the center guards. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got to roll it. Roll it, roll it. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Sounded like Tanner called on line right out of Jake's hand there, so. I think so. Maybe just a little bit tight. Hard. If you're John Epping, what are you doing here, Paul? Well, he's looking at the guard. He's worried about... Unless uh, you get into here. Tanner making the run on the tight, the blue on the center line, almost in the top of the house. It's very tight, though, to get that back. To feather the red. A draws through the holes hard. But you might or you might have to make it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, let's play it, Fry. I like it. Not sure. Making the guard. No, just let's throw it in there. Yeah. Right guard in there. that middle. They'll probably run something. Might open up a freeze behind the red. Get out of it. Trying to get in there through that port, very small port. And again, the way this ice has been running, it'll hang for a while, and then once it gets sort of inside that four-foot line, it'll it'll break. So it's going to be a difficult line call here, as well as wait for John. Yep, line. We're hard. Yeah, the other option, of course, was to throw the center guard, and they looked at that briefly, but elected to throw the come through the port. They can never free each other one that's top button, and this is pretty darn close. Oh, great shot through the port. Just maybe yeah, smidge heavy. Call, John. I think that rock's actually in a, a better position now. It's a great now. leave, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just, just a sliver high. Okay. John Buke looking for the run back, and he, you, you heard Tanner say sliver high. They, they'd like to avoid hitting that one that's on the side of the forefoot. make the run but he opened it up and he might have spun in hard to say on the top house but given the number of rocks in the house probably unlikely for that to be a counter later Is John calling the guard here or is he coming in again? Yeah. I think he called the guard. Right now he's in a pretty good position to steal, if not, if, if uh, Tanner Horgan could find a way to uh, get one in there. Tight. But if he puts a guard here, he's, I think, tight. I think uh, Team Buke's going to gonna have to try and clear something at the front to even have access to the button area. It's got to stop. Tight. got to stop. I think that's pretty good. She's got to run it into here. Uh, she got a slight turn, underhook yeah, there yeah. on the other red. Tanner would love to run this back seven eighths and kill the red and still leave his rock buried behind the other red. You can see the broom is dead center of the rock, so we're taking zero ice for this. Oh, oh, the girl. rotation on that. It's a pretty lonely blue stone sitting there right now. As you said, they, they were trying to leave that other red guard to protect that blue one, but it's now gone. And Team Buke's going to have to be a little careful here. Which is nice. It's going to stay right there. They have hammer, so they've opened it up. I think John and now he's gonna have to make a quad. This isn't leaving the ring. Not worried about um, throwing the guard here. Yeah. I think he's just looking at can I get the force? A lot of there. Probably lying at least you throw a little three left? after this shot with the nose. Yeah, a little left. Just a firm control. Uh, about three quarters. First stone for John Epping here in the third end. Currently with a one point lead. But based on the house right now, I think it's pretty safe to say someone's going to score this end. Yeah, I'm not feeling the blank. <laughs> Slashed it in there. Yeah. No, no set, right? Is that? No set? Yeah, I don't mind that. And then if I hit it low, I'm just rolling in front. Yeah. Yeah, that's good because even if you roll behind the guard, we're not shot, right? It's yeah, not so like, I don't know. What yeah. else do we play? Yeah, like Peel weight right on the nose? Yep. Just slice that? Yep. Okay. Yeah, give me, give me right in the middle. Yeah. Ideally, Tanner's trying to hit and roll in front of those. Red in the back of the house, hoping to try and potentially get a jam out of John's neck shot. He knows he will be forced here. There's no real triple to get out of this. I did hear him say right on the nose. Surprised by that. If he makes the nose here, he's gonna kill the one on the button and the two in the back. And then John just has a nose hit. Maybe Tanner's planning on making a slash double on his last. Slash double blank. Slash double blank, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hard. Hard. Yep. Hard. Trying to make some granite go here. Oh, oh, not the one he wanted to 
see go. Just a maybe a bit of a miss miss call there. Just touched that one that was frozen. Okay. Yeah. Great opportunity here now for Team Epping. Pretty much knows this one and yeah, maybe roll if, a bit. Yeah, I didn't know if John wants to roll. Yeah, looks like it a little bit because I think he noses that and then it leaves Tanner the nose for shot. So he's trying to make it a little bit more difficult. We can roll away just a smidge. Control. Final stone here for Team Epping in the third end. That is a good oh. shot. I think Tanner can pretty much nose it and get shot, but I think to be safe, you always want to hit it on the center line side. As, as we wait for Tanner to come down and throw his last shot, I'll let you look over to Sheet F and let me know what's going on over there. I see your son is throwing. Looks like Tyler is throwing against uh, Matt. Hit one around the corner guard. Looks like Tyler's trying to throw back line. So here we go. This is the final stone in the third end. Tanner Horgan looking for the nose hit. The only thing he cannot do here is roll to the outside, I believe. Wow, this one picked up the curl, and he's good. So it is one on the board for Team Buke. It is a 2-2 two, two tie after three ends of play. Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. Hello and welcome back as we take a look at the two skips, John Epping and Tanner Horgan. It is the fourth end of play, draw six here at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. My name is Melissa Saligo. I'm joined here by coach Paul Tardy. <laughs> How are you feeling being in the commentator's booth and not coaching? You okay? Pretty weird, yeah. You know, I'd be usually writing <laughs> Lots notes. Lots of notes. Notes, yeah, like crazy, timing rocks and making comments. What are we doing? <laughs> well, see, I'm saving your hand from arthritis. <laughs> That's right? true. Give me that one break. <laughs> no, it's great. Good to have you here. We miss you though, John, if you're listening. No, we Terribly. don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> Get well soon, like within the next hour, John. So we have a tie ball game here 
on sheet D. Center guard goes up by Team Buke. Nice shot there by Epping, but not enough to prevent Scott Chadwick from removing that from play. So little exchange of rocks here. Having a look around over on sheet A, it looks like Neil Dangerfield has a 4-1 lead over Sebastian Robillard. Team Glenn yep. Howard, steal of two in the second end, three nothing over Jim Cotter. Looks like three to one, Giel over DeJong. And playing on DeJong's team, of course, Brad Wood, who is our Brad and Annette, our new floors Penticton Platinum sponsor. Over in sheet E, I believe it is, they're just counting up the end, so I'll come back to that one in a second. And it's a one-one tie, tardy over oh, Dunstone, I believe oh, Tyler Tardy oh, just oh. joined against two. John, he did, yes. John, John. So I didn't have to write anything down. You Perfect. did not. And back over on sheet E, it looks like Utah Matsumura has a 2-1 lead over Team Cam. Control. Fairly long hit and roll here for Team Epping to get back under the center guard. Whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Okay, it's fine. All right, let's go top eight here. Yep. This draw, sponsored by and featured by New Floors Penticton. Edward Jones and RPR Heating can't thank the sponsors enough for all they do for this event and, of course, our great sport. And as you mentioned, Paul, it's so good to see all the jackets filled with sponsors out there and such great support for all our teams. Yes, I remember back in the day when uh, yep. you just had your yep. name on the back of your jacket. Yes. That was it. Maybe a nice sweater. Hard! <laughs> Hard! Something you know, heavy knit. I never ever thought I would say back in the day. Uh, I never <laughs> wanted to be that person that said back in the day. Because yep, that just yep, shows yep, that yep, yep, I've yep. gotten older and yeah. stuff. We need to bring back the buttoned sweater. That's what no, we need. No, thank you. And the corn brooms. <laughs> I can honestly say I never had to play with the corn broom, so I'm at least not oh, that wow. old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Jake Horgan coming up a little light there. Another center guard. So great opportunity here for Matt Cam Ooh. to get one. Almost a fall there. Yeah, almost a fall. Oh, <laughs> kind of distracted me a little. Matt Cam trying to get buried behind these two guards. Yeah, go ahead. And this is the same path that John Epping threw in, threw in end number two for his draw. And you can just see it hangs for a, quite a while there. And then finally will make its break. But the weight just comes off so quickly when you are waiting. Yeah. Good, Good finish there. Jonathan Jake, Buke with Jake, his first one here in the fourth Hold end. On. Keep going. Oh, it's just heavy. Wow. A lot of weight. I think that's the first complete miss we've seen, Paul. Yeah, we've we've seen that before on other sheets. You throw a bit more weight and it just doesn't catch that that early curl and sails through. So you you, you could hear on the audio that uh, it's just that it's just a bit more right? weight and it just hung out there. John Epping outlining our three options here. Come behind those two center guards. Draw open side on the left as we look at it and draw behind the guard. There we go. So he's outlined <laughs> all three. Which one's he going to pick? He's going around the corner, it looks like. They're not going to follow. They're not going to follow. Well, now we have to see if that, that? happens. 
shot. He has Most to bury here. Shot. The concern about Get this shot is here. it's a very tight corner, and if you're half open, it does leave Team Buke a chance to hit and roll underneath uh, the double centers and, like and the top house guard. So he's just trying to put it in a place where he's not going oh, to so, regret leaving it there. It's like an auto runner there. <laughs> Ryan does not like the come around the center by any means. So I think we decided to go around the corner. Looks like that was the final call. Your final answer. Right, oh, line's good. Wait, it's close. T. Line's good. And we haven't seen a lot of rocks inside out here to guess what the curl is going to be like. So, line is great. It's going to sit. It's a pretty good shot. It does slip behind the T line. So that is the option there for Jonathan Buke. Same thing, board. You hit that one. Yeah. No, you're going to be second shot. I can't hear anything. Thinking the same shot as the last one. Just, just come down. I can't hear anything. It is quite loud out in the, uh, in the club. I know our team has gone to hand signal sometimes because Tyler's not the loudest like, out there. So. Same call. This is buried, eh? So, same call? I guess well, if you roll in, that, we're not shot, you right? roll in front, they put the rings. Right? This, yeah. this rock's fine for us. This, this gives us something at the end if we need it, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, he's got that, but okay. I, I don't know. I mean, you could also try and dig that. If you get the guard, you're probably, you're probably rolling buried. Yeah. That's the other call. I think I like the freeze better. It you looked, like the freeze better? It looked pretty I mean, we buried. Just, yeah. You just saw it, right? Like, yep. What do you think about this call, Paul? Freeze is great if you make it, as, as with most shots. Um, nothing wrong with the call. The danger of this shot is, again, there haven't been a lot of inside out shots. Um, did they get a good read on the weight? Because the worst thing for Team Buke here is to be two feet heavy and kind of bounce off that one and slide in the open. Then you're really leaving the door open for a big end. Yeah, without the hammer, you know, drawing, freezing to a Behind a corner guard is not really ideal. John was no was talking no about that if they made this shot, no they would fear. not chase. Yep. He did not think that, but. Yes. But they are. They are. Line's good. So if they can ever make this perfect. Line's real good. Got to go for weight, I think. Is he going to get yeah, second? Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's close. A Good great sweeping. sweep. Oh, that's very close. Worst shot. Is it crazy to draw? He comes off that. What are you thinking? Hack! Yeah. Brian Fry throwing hack weight here. Trying to hack. hit what you can see yeah. of that blue stone and roll towards the center. Hard, Hard Off the red. Whoa! Off Looks the red. like it's over curling, I think. Plan B it's here. Roll a shooter in. Oh. Yeah, get it out there, Langer. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Not a bad, bad plan B. Team Mepping still lying two now. Uh, probably this, eh? Back yeah. line? Yeah. Make sure. Just pump that through. Yeah, just make sure it's good, I think. I think so. Nose is fine, I guess, for now. What yeah. are they doing with it, right? Yeah, either nose, and that's real good. Yeah. Throw yeah. hack, I guess. Yeah. Might as well throw hack. Between the two center blue guards and the one red in the top eight foot there's a good chance for Tanner here if he can roll under a little bit it'd be hard for for Epping to dig it out 
When you look at that from the perspective we're looking at it right now, Paul, you can't see a lot of that red stone. No. So they're talking about throwing half weight. I'm just wondering if the freeze tap might be a little easier. I, I know there's a lot of space between the guards and the one in the back eight that they're looking at, but... Yeah, I mean, we can throw just like back line if you yeah, see I think, I think, I think back line might back be a little bit more manageable. Yep. Throw more like a draw. Yeah. Get just inside the I nose, think they're like comfortable kind of with the ice here. for draw and soft weight. Anything more than that? Yep. It's a makes bit of a sense. guess. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Again, there's another good look at it. You, you, can, you can't really see it, but there is a lot of space. So I think they've elected to throw the back line. I think so, yeah. And oddly enough, when I move my head around looking at a monitor, it doesn't really help the angle. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure why that is. <laughs> it's probably the same thing when you're out there as well. Probably. Like when you're looking at your own shit, yeah. First rock here in the fourth for Tanner Horgan. Would love to get to the face of that red stone and just yep, yep, tap yep. it back Whoa, a yep. foot or so. Hard! 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 Goal here is have to get by those Hard. center guards. Whoa! 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 Curl! Cut, cut. Curl! Should finish hard in here. This looks great. Okay, get under a little bit. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice touch. First and then a couple other reds flying around. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, John trying to roll away here. Just definitely doesn't want to hit and stick or even roll under what Tanner was trying to do because then Tanner will just follow that down and then there's no way to get more than your one. Yeah. So Heavy hack. Ideally, like to roll away and still be first or second shot. Really want to keep the shooter in play here. Don't want to roll out. Well, that was a bit of a mistake. I think he had a nice weight there. Just didn't curl up as much as they were hoping. Back four is good. Okay. So great chance here now for Team Buke to get one fully buried behind three rocks. And you heard them say even back four. They would love to force John Epping to a single here. I, pro I probably threw that one back four, eh? Like you swept it. Yeah. Oh, we only, we were only like just through away. You swept it like a whole way. Like, I, I think I'm only taking a few feet off. You want to go back four here, eh? Yeah, I see, yeah, like two feet off. Like, yeah, two, three feet. You can probably get away with that throw. No, no, no. no I, Throw a little less, just, just, but it's just, it's just a bit less, yeah. Okay, okay, full back four. Key for Tanner on this shot is just to try and bury completely light. around the guards. I think we're a little light. He yep. could be. Yeah, he's asking for full back Jake, four. It gives him a better line. chance of completely line, burying yep. around the centers. Hard. So that John can't follow Hard, down. Jake. Hard. You don't want to be sweeping Hard. for line Hard early. Line. You got to get it by. Hard line. Hard. Hard roof. Roof. Back. Keep going. Keep going. Great keep going. brushing. Going. going as far as they can. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great brush. Oh, yeah. Did he leave a double Pretty for John? Good. It's very flat. Nice shot there by Tanner. No. 
This might count too. It might, but it's for three still. Thinking about hitting half of the uh, well, I think the red that they can yeah. see back into the blue and have a shooter come across and kill the other blue. If he hits it thin enough, he can save a shooter without spinning it across the top. So potentially for three, yeah, I agree. but a difficult yeah. shot. just rubs the top one. So it looks like a steal of one for Buke. John's POA just hung out on him. So after four ends, it's going to be a 3-2 lead for Buke heading into five. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon and now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now.
We are in Penticton, BC at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic, draw six. And we are halfway through draw number six on second stones here. Team Epping versus Team Buick at the Penticton Curling Club. Melissa Slago joined here by Paul Tardy. And Paul, what did you think about that last end? Well, there were some opportunities there. John, John elected to play a very difficult, thin, uh, sort of double in off. Um, and we hadn't seen a, a peel away down that spot and it just kind of looked like it fell away a little bit on John more than he expected and unfortunately for him he didn't didn't make contact on uh, the, enough of his shot to get his uh, potentially two or three so a uh, big steal for um, for Buke in five so uh, but John has has hammer in evens so um, still uh, looking to generate his deuce here in six we're in five Oh, we're in five. <laughs> it's an okay. eight-end game. Oh, right. Odds are away. <laughs> Odds me, are let away. Let me write that down. The brick wall is odd numbers. Now, if you're going to keep coaching, we <laughs> need to get that straight. <laughs> well, maybe they're only playing a seven-end game, so that's fine. <laughs> you're right. Yes. Yep. But your theory is, is in theory, right on. In theory, you want to yeah. hammer in the even ends. Hammer in the even ends. Absolutely. John would never make that mistake. John would not make that mistake. John, John, come is back. always on it. Sorry, John. Paul is failing you, John Cullen. So some half shots here leaves Team Epping behind the T-line. They're not really in an ideal spot. Gives uh, Team Buick an opportunity, Jake Horgan, an opportunity to freeze right on top of those red stones. Good. And based Mine's on your good. theory, it sure would, would be nice to Buke, Buke looking Mine for only. the force so that they can get Hammer tied up in the even Start. end. So Start we'll see how this comes out. But you can see these rocks, the more that they go down that path, the slicker it becomes. And you just don't want to bounce off. That's the second time that Jake has done that. And we've seen that in our games as well uh, later on in the game when you're playing the same path over and over, especially for the most part, you're playing outside in like that, and it can get really fast, um, especially to the scoreboard. We've seen, you know, 16 seconds sweat times, which is quite fast, so. Those are the small adjustments, adjustments that teams need to make. You, you've played enough games now. You know, this, isn't, this is day two of the event, and game, I believe, three for most of these teams, or all of these teams, both these teams. So it's time, you, yep. need, you need to make those adjustments. Things haven't changed. You've got the information and the Heart. knowledge that that Heart. happens. Heart. I sound like I'm being a little Heart. critical. Didn't Whoa. mean to be. That's your job. Perfect. I'm a critic. Just feather that one by. But That's again, what your you're kids seeing, said. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> again, it's uh, you know a lot of rocks in there for for Team Epping with Hammer, but unfortunately for them, they're all stepping like behind the T-line. So uh, if Team Buke can get something right yeah, where Tanner's behind. broom is, that's Just gold. A behind the tea is good. And the scoring zone is getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, this is truly a big shot for Jonathan Buke. If he can get to the face of that red stone, it's going to take Team Epping a, a couple of shots. To get out of this mess and try and get some of those red stones to count. Room, lots of room, lots of room. Switch if you can. You gotta switch. Yep. This is way out there. Wow. To get in a wider path. Just got out a bit wide. It's a different path entirely, I guess. I think Tanner explained it well for us. You got. If you just get outside that path, it's a completely different speed as we've noticed and we've talked about yeah and then the the weight's coming off so the sweepers have to, to sweep on it and that's holding the line so it's not curling so they you kind of lose line and weight out there and that's a really fine line so now john is if he's going to wrap around that Enemy guard he's going to go out here. there you go he just said <laughs> we're going well out into <laughs> the new stuff so this is a this is a fairly big guess yeah Let's see if they talk about the time here Yeah, go talk. 
Time for a chat. We even saw this in our game against Howard, that uh, yeah. Glenn actually called down Scott to talk about the time on that wide path. Because it was I, so uncertain. Yeah, but we just, yeah, but if, okay. But if you're here, you're fine. It's in the way. I do, I do. The way your internal finish, yes. Makes it harder because we'll be sh he'll we'll still be shot. How do we get there? No way. Well, I just if, okay. Well, you're throwing this so much harder. Okay. It's gonna run so much straighter. So I think John Epping had one idea in his mind, and that was to throw the wide intern come around to the forefoot. However. Ryan Fry went down and had a conversation and they they really don't like the look of the left side of the sheet right now. Oh, now they've gone nope. back. Okay. So. Skipper as, rules. <laughs> as originally called. <laughs> <laughs> Forget what I just said. John Epping with Hammer yeah. here in the fifth end. Yeah. Good. Yep. So this is a much harder shot than it looks Whoa. just because the weight will be changing quite Wait a bit way out here. That's where it's really important to keep your broom down because you just don't know if it's going to continue to glide or if it's going to dig out. in right, a lot, right away. Stay with it. This is pretty close. Sorry, Fry. Tough one. Very tough read for the sweepers it, there. I agree. That was a tough shot. Because you have to go early so it doesn't die and then it gets in the fast stuff and it slides. Big opportunity here for Team Buke to sit on those back rocks. Easy guys, good. it felt like more. Whoa, 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 wait only, line's good. All you, line's good. Can we curl, can we curl? Chavik, yep. Gotta hit it, gotta hit it. Just shout it, just shout it. Yep. Really yep, nice yep, looking yep, yep, yep. weight here. What hard, a hard, great hard. shot. Absolutely perfect. perfect shot. John giving the kind of an arm punch. There he is. <laughs> Finally made one, he says. Great shot. That is a peach. And again, like you said, Paul, that is not an easy shot. So to make that one perfect. So Team Epping now, what do you think? Unfortunately for John here, he's running back all of Buke's rocks. They're all blue. Uh, he can try the straight run back, but that's again running into his. He's trying to at least give himself an opening here, I think. Uh, trying to make the slash on the top one, give himself a draw path. Yeah, he really doesn't have a draw path right now to the button, so I think half a rock slash into the other blue stone that's Behind the guard. Oh. Shot. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it would have been worse if it jammed. It's not crazy. Go there, he goes there. Yeah, I mean, is the guard? Oh, he's like, then he comes around. And the... I mean, that What's he doing right now? What's, what, what is he doing right now? He's probably got to freeze that. Pocket. I guess. And Maybe he, he hits the two. I think he hits, he hits the, the two. Six. I think he hits the two, kills this one, and then oh. releases. Then we're in a bit of trouble, right? So we yeah. should probably come in somewhere. Like, the only, the only other shot I'm seeing is you tap that roll behind just a touch. Make this pocket, make this pocket better. Yeah. The only thing is if you freeze here, then he plays this, unlocks that, and rolls there. And then, we, then we guard? Yeah. The end objective here for Team I Buick know, is like, to lights, try and force Epping like to a single good. point. Could freeze their own. Then, he goes, nah, then, he, then he's hammering it over the top. Well, then this should drag. Yeah. Top one may catch you. Coach Paul Tardy on the spot. What do you like? Move ours at all. We're in trouble, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm afraid of, is that, is that stupid? Like, of Tanner that's, coming in there. No, that's, that's not bad at all. John's going to blast. And, you know, he just can't leave a rock in a bad spot. The worst case for Tanner is he comes in to try and throw. The button is great. Love it. Great spot. But if like, it hangs a little bit and he taps his blue, unlocks well the red, he could be, you know, giving up a big end. I don't actually even hate the a higher guard here on the right side, block that off. The left my, side my is already is blocked. That, and then the leave him the draw for the force. Again, yeah, as we start at the end in five, as you remember, Strong's Melissa, it's not six. <laughs> um, not, yeah, five. <laughs> you know, uh, Team Buke should be happy with the force here. Kill up hammer so and evens tied. Right? Like, like I yeah, is, is so I don't hate the guard. Yeah, I'm just worried he, he does something like that, releases this one, moves this one out of the eight foot. But if he does that and we have a rock here, it's not really helping us. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You want to just dead drop it right there? Top four is not bad, yeah. It's not bad, that rock's not going anywhere. And he's doing that. Yeah, that's true. Gotta make it, but yeah. But then you got yours, right? Yeah, we've got ours top. Okay. Yeah, top four. Top four right in the middle of it, yeah. I think top four, top button, split the line is the best. These are ones where you're sitting good already and you just have to try and put a rock in a position where you don't make the opposition shot easier by putting a rock in play and i i tend to agree if you if you bring this rock in the potential of making it easier for team epping is greater so if you put this one just outside of the rings on the left hand side in front of that one john has to deal with those two guards would have to deal with those two guards yeah. The wide outturn draw is still there for one, but it's for one. I think if you make the guard, John is probably forced to draw. And even if he makes it, you can just throw something on top of it to get the force. Absolutely. This one, if it over curls on, on Tanner, it could leave John the open tap on that blue. He'll be frozen a shot and then potentially brings the two in. So I think we've elected to come into the rings. Paul and I not convinced that that's the right call, but we'll see where this one ends up. The goal here, trying not to leave John Epping a double of any sort for sure. I think they're trying to freeze to the back one now. Okay. Like, do you whip it? Or do you just throw a board? Like, do you think I can get some action up here? Like, just a little spin up to here. And then get that, that should come back a little bit. A little bit. Should be pretty good. Two thirds? I don't like to freeze. I like two thirds. I like two thirds. So with the, th the single guard here now, for John to throw down there, he's going to hit him in the pocket, and potentially he, regardless of what Tanner throws, he he may have a draw in turn or out turn, you know, to piece of the button for two, depending how this works out. So I think Tanner's overcurled more than than they would like. It overcurled and I think it was about a you know a foot or so heavy too. They didn't really want to move that red stone. They wanted to lock the blue one on top. So opportunity here now for John Epping, his first stone here in the fifth end with hammer. He's trying to hit inside that blue stone and roll and spin the other one, roll his red one and spin the other blue one out of the four foot area. Oh, just, just clears. Oh, oh, unlucky. Very unlucky. Wow. I didn't think a rock would go through there. It's a seam curl, yeah. A little bit unlucky for John there, but still, he is second and third. So Tanner has to, again, put this rock in a position where he's not going to leave a double for John. Yeah, you can even, you can even bump the one on the right. I think he's planning to play down to the 
the back red this time on the right side of the center line. Just back tee, back button on my own, eh? He is, I think the key there though, because you can see all of this blue stone on the left hand side, you want to make sure that he places this on the center line side of that red stone. You don't want to be right in front of it because you may, may leave that double for John Epping. So center line side frozen is probably ideal. Close, guys. Wait on me. Line's this is the last easy. skip stone here. Yep. Yeah, line. Fifth end, Team Buick, whoa, whoa. Tanner whoa, Horgan throwing it. Yep, yep, easy, line, hard. easy, hard, whoa. easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa no, 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 no. Perfect. You're good, you're good. Nice shot. Oh, nice shot. Great shot there. He's got the force. Yeah, I think he's got a draw for one here. Great shot there by Tanner. So this is the final skip stone coming up here from John Epping to tie this game at three. Epping looking for T line weight yeah. here. We're there right now, Fry. <laughs> yeah! Back eight! Back eight, back 12. So back, whoa, whoa. back eight, back 12. Better make sure it doesn't flip off anywhere. Back 12. This looks like it is perfect. So it is one on the board for John Epping. It is a 3 3 tie after five ends of play here at the Penticton Curling Club. We'll be right back. Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon and now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. And we are back in the Penticton Curling Club and continuing coverage on curling.com at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. With that Last draw by John Epping ties this game at 3-3. Three, three. With three ends to go. Sure. Melissa Saligo joined here by Paul Tardy. And just to give you an update on what's going on around the rink, over on sheet A, Sebastian Robillard with three and four and a steal in five, has a 5-4 lead over Dangerfield. It is 3-3, three, three, Howard and Cotter. And it looks like Team Giel with a two-point lead over Cam DeJong. And Yuta Matsumura has a one-point lead over Team Cam. And Paul, take it away on sheet F. What's going on? Well, uh, interesting end here. So they're playing six. Uh, well, yep. Team Tardy managed to make a oh. double run back triple to get themselves oh. out of some big trouble here. <laughs> um, the, the Why end's not? Only half, I know, the end's only oh. half over here. So. 
It's 2-1 for uh, Dunstone over Tardy. Tardy has hammer in six, so. Nice. By the way, six is back towards the glass now, I hear. That's a new thing. It's a true story. Well, it's a true okay. story. I'm going to write that down. So Team Epping, knowing that uh, Team Buick has two hammers to one here, they're throwing up the, the center guards and the split by uh, Scott Chadwick on the first one makes a great split, but his, his shooter actually stayed on the center line. But he does make a great split on the second one now. And now for Matt Cam, I believe he's throwing a center guard. Trying to get lots of rocks in, in uh, the center area there. This is rock number five all in play here. I don't think either of those are on the, on the paint. I don't think that red one is, do you? No, I'm going to go with uh, Johnny. I had a good look at it. Now Tanner's having a look at it. Oh, he's even giving it the... Perfect. ...the out wave, so... Tanner would be happy with the blank here. He's just trying to not to get forced in six. Having to take one. If he can make the double peel, he is, does have some very tight corners on both sides. Whoa. This is younger Whoa, brother, Jake. That's good. Great shot, gets two out of the way. So Team Buke, either looking for a deuce here in six or the blank, as you say, but with the blank, you retain hammer, obviously, in seven. And then I think you'd need to get two in seven or blank again, I guess. Yeah, it never gets easy more complicated. To, yeah, never easy to <laughs> blank blank, though. Center guard going up here now by Matt Cam. Line's good. Again, we finish can't little, thank the city of Penticton, the Penticton yep, Curling yep, Club, yep, 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 and yep. New Floors Penticton for a phenomenal event here. And thank you to all our sponsors, including for this draw, we have the featured by New Floors Penticton, Edward Jones, and RPR Heating. Rock number two here for Jake Horgan, trying another run back and just gets the straight single peel, which is just fine. It's fun to watch these players grow up. Melissa, you know, we've, we've played against the Horgans for probably five or maybe even six years. And, uh, you know, they, the kids were so much younger then and now they're turning into the adults. They're in men's curling now. It's just, uh, it's fun to watch them grow. I like this. Yeah, I feel like I've watched Tanner and Jake almost We're as much as I've watched your kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always seem to be in the same Canadian championships playing against each other. Yeah, the Horgans have been great yeah. players from like 13 on, you know, they've been to a lot of national championships and now they're looking to build out on the men's circuit. So good for them. I want to kill the line. Whoa. Just taking a peek over on sheet B there, team Howard and Cotter. Howard with another line's three great. and five. This is a six three Still lead Langer, but lines over gotta, Jim Cotter. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Brent Lang trying shot, to get this Brian. one right in behind. Good brushing. Still see a piece. Love to hit and roll Whoa. behind those corner guards Whoa, yep, there. Yep, yep, hard, hard. Jake, Jake, Jake. Nope, going oh. to the face. Great shot. 
Yeah. Great finish on that rock. Didn't get by by much. And again, once you get closer to that center line, it, it starts to take off, and uh, you'll hear a bit more of uh, <laughs> of panic oh, tone in the, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the skipper's voice when it starts to break. Yeah. Real close. Line's good. Whoa, line's great. Yep, yes. <laughs> whoa. Said that rock just picked at the end there, over curled. Just a reminder that we will be back streaming on curling.com at 3.45. And our featured game on Sheet D will be Kevin Cooey versus Nicholas Edeen. And then in tonight's match at 7.30, it will be Glenn Howard versus Matt Dunstone. So two. Oh, so many game. great games out here. You know, you can look around at the sheets and there's just so many high room, caliber teams room, playing running, out here. It's thrill, a great running. event. Lots, lots of room. Whoa. Cheeks rock. Hard. Yeah, hard. Hard. What was the call here, Paul? He's trying to hard. freeze the uh, whoa, whoa, the red rock whoa, whoa. that uh, Team Sorry, Epping had just thrown in there, but that one really hack? dug in on them. Solid hack. I think so. Trying to keep everything. Okay. It's interesting on our, our road trip, Melissa, in, okay. uh, in Okotoks and Calgary, we ran into uh, to to a team we played in, in Worlds a few times, uh, Ross White, who has been uh, skipped yeah. by Brewster, and uh, they're on their high-performance team, and uh, we were talking to them at the event, and uh, I think they said they were curling since June or July in Scotland, and they're in the wow. high-performance team, and uh, one of their players was saying they were... They were uh, practicing on ice uh, three days a week with the national training team and two days in the gym. So it's a full-time job for Ross White and their team. And but they're they're doing really well this year. They're putting in the, the time and the effort, and that team is uh, really moving up the the World Curling Tour. And you know they're the same age as, as Team Tardy, and and they they're now in their first slam. So, so good, good for on them. them. Yep. Yep. That was quite a rivalry. It at was. the world oh, with yes. <laughs> Team oh, Canada yeah. and, and the Scottish yeah. team. So John Epping here great with his shot. first. What a great shot. Lies right, three. Okay. Yeah, rolled a shooter double. away, didn't leave a double or anything. Yep. With, uh, up I mean, I got enough to throw whatever I want, but... I just got to figure out if he can hit. Like, I, think, I don't think he can hit and roll under there. It's, it's too, out, right? too overlapped. He may be able to hit and roll, maybe or whatever, whatever frozen on the, on the rock in the 12 foot there, right? to get shot. I think that's what he's looking at, the hit and roll. He originally maybe even looked at the double, but I'm not sure what the double gives you. So hit and roll right on top. This is a really precise line and weight call to make that uh, far of a roll. What is it, like a third? Yeah. 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 Just got to make this double control weight. Trying to keep Coach Paul focused on our game <laughs> as he's peeking over on sheet F. I'm stressing on F <laughs> right now. I think Tyler made a pretty good one on his first there. Yeah, Team Tardy's lying three with hammer. Dunstone will be throwing his last in a minute. We've got Matt like thinking the there, so he must have done something right. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this is the first skip stone here for Tanner Horgan, Team Buick. In the sixth end of play, they're facing three at the moment, trying for the hit and roll. The double, maybe hit and roll. What double. a shot! Great shot. Great shot. Nice call by Jonathan. Is it jam if I whip it and roll? No. So do you want to try that? If 
I guess I could give him the two just hundred. Knows it. Just nice, great control okay. weight, great line call. He's going to try the double, I guess, which is fine. I do, yeah. No, oh, I mean, I see what you're saying. Sorry, I think John is thinking of so peeling that out or. Okay. No. They talked about nosing it. Yeah. Just being careful not to. Uh, Normal. Norm. Yeah. Let that. Oh, you guys are seeing. Yeah. Blue one. Yeah, once it makes contact it. Yeah. with the other redstone, does it go over top of the perfect. one in the back twelve? Just have to be a little more careful here. You can hit a little high side too. Sit three that way. What's happening, coach? It's getting really close to the guard. Is it curling? That's. Hard to tell what's Matt got. Norm. No, Matt yep. overcurled his freeze. It looks like Tyler has a drop Whoa. of three. Yep. Ooh, is it gonna stick? Oh, it just gets by on the jam right. on the back one. <laughs> Good shot yeah. by John Epping. It's a bit of an anxious moment on that roll because it if was it's stuffed on the red one. Then, it was. Then this was a hit for two for Tanner. Same thing. Control weight. Right on the nose. Yep. So Tanner Horgan now facing two on his last. This is a hit and stick for a single point. And we'll give up Hammer if he makes it into the seventh end. Final stone, sixth Whoa. end, Whoa. Tanner Horgan. Clean, clean, Whoa. clean, 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 yep. clean, yep, 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 right to Hard. it, yep. right to it, hard. Doesn't sound too panicked. And a great shot by Tanner. So it's one on the board for Team Buke, 4-3. After six ends of play, we'll be right back for the seventh. <laughs> landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. We are through six ends of play at the Penticton Curling Club and the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. Paul? I saw you looking <laughs> over on sheet F. Do you have do you something you want? Yes. Do you, want... Yes, do you have something you want to tell us? Sure. I a big uh, four ender for Team Tardy uh, against Dunstone there to go up five two. He, I thought Tyler was going to draw for three, and he played a much a cuter, tight. softer tap. So yep. 
I didn't. I didn't teach him that one actually, Melissa. Well, but you did say you drew it up on the whiteboard. I, I did, but right? yeah, that's what a coach does. I don't have to throw it. It's fine. <laughs> so team Tardy now with a five-two lead over Dunstone after six ends of play as well. And then back on our sheet. Great, great sweep, great freeze there. Team Buick with that one point lead, but without the all important hammer here in seven. So they threw the center guard. I think in five Brent Lang left. tried to come around, went a little deep. And so that gave the opportunity to Scott to follow him down. And this is rock number two here for Brent Lang. Really close. Seventh end is always an interesting great strategy. Line's good. Because depending on what's happening here, John will Line's have the decision good. potentially to try and blank the end and Wait keep hammer and eight, good. to try and go for two and eight, or you know maybe get Don't his his two well, and seven. Well, so there's well. there's sort of a a switch well, point from offense good. to defense, well, the defense well, well, well. often in, in seven. So we'll see how this plays out. Great shot there by Brent. I got 15 and a half there, so speed here is Jake has good. missed a, a couple of these draws, so he's really looking to lock this one right on that red stone just thrown by Team Epping. Really doesn't want to bounce here, Paul. Really important to be to the face of it. Even a little on the lighter side would probably be better than bounce off. Line's good. Line's real nice. These guys are pretty much on it the whole way here. Well, if you can, whoa, 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 room, room, room. Chadwick's rock. Yep, yep, curl, 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 curl. Yep, yep, yep. What a Great terrific shot. Shot, Jake. It'll be interesting to see now whether John likes how this is set, setting up or he's going to, uh, mm. oh, he's going to just jiggle him around. Hmm. What would the son of Paul Tardy do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back eight, John. Back People always ask me, what's Tyler going to play? And I'm like, I've only seen like 10,000 games. I have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> it's always a guess. And I'm not being cagey. I just, yeah. you never know what Tyler's going to play. <laughs> yep. So Matt Cam yep. here trying to throw just T-line back yep. four, trying to move things around a little, jiggle some of those rocks. Yep. John Epping not feeling the need right Feel now it. to peel that center guard. And this looks pretty darn good. Good shot. Another freeze. It's a freeze on a freeze on a freeze here. I think you just need to get kind of there, but be nice if this was a little over, but yeah, we're shot, eh? Yeah. Is the guard stupid? No. Could just guard. The only thing is they might ante up and just do that, right? Yeah. And then I don't hate the freeze. Like it's pretty good. Like, could just guard. I think yeah, either the of those shots are fine. Like you know, if you can make a good like freeze a over the top, and keep the line through. the same, again, you're always run into the risk of maybe and just shot. I like the guard, kissing yeah, off the one and rolling and leaving sense. something for your opposition. Where's the best spot, like right here? Guard isn't bad either, you know. Yeah, I think so. so. Team yep. Buick is, is shot on the button. It's going to yeah. be some work for Team Epping. I think that's exactly right. I, I think I like the guard on this particular shot just because John's going to have to make his decision now and, and he's going to have a lot of work to do, really. Hi, guard. I like the guard here. I think it's oftentimes the, uh, the guard gets overlooked a lot of times. <laughs> Valuable shot. Jacob Horgan with his second stone here in the yep. seventh end. Hard line. All Line sheets hit. still in play out there. 
Over and off, over and off, we're over, over curling. We're, we're well over. Whoa, whoa. It's gotta, it's gotta Just stop. Just short it's gotta, of it, almost stop. beside it, almost beside it. Good. Yeah, I don't think John Epping has a choice here, really, Paul. I think it's time to try and double those guards off. Yeah, he has no route to the the button there. So now if he, he cross faces the second one, it's gonna go back into that pack and jiggle things around. Oh, Shot. Just missed the pile. I think John was hoping to be able to jiggle something around there because of Team Buick sitting on the button. And where that blue stone has ended up, it's it's pretty much protecting that side of the forefoot and really not a lot of access to the button if that were ever an option for either team. So another guard here for Jonathan Buick. Line's good. Looks heavy. Easy, easy. Line's good. Easy. Okay. A little bit of room right now. A little bit of room. Scott's Rock. Scott's Rock. Yep. Yeah, got to finish. Yep. Yep. Got to go. Trying yep. to get this to center if they can right. here. Oh, oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, okay. A little deeper, I think, than John wanted. Now we may see yeah. some granite it looks move. Like he, he's, uh, John was looking at just maybe normal? unlocking the top, you know, not normal? a ton of weight. He was talking normal. What are we doing, Fry? He was jiggling a lot of rocks, but trying to keep a just, couple of red sure around to bring the, yeah. the two back in, in play. Normal. Team Epping got shot out of that. Definitely moved around a lot. All of the angles changed with one shot there. That's a really good shot by Ryan, but for Team Epping, just has to have to be a little bit careful here because they did remove one of their red stones. Yeah. Team Buke line second, third, and fourth. This is better. It's not a big hole to go through there. Uh, you can see down the sheet. They would have to curl up after the, the top 12 yeah. around to make contact. You, you want to make sure you get this back here, right? Yeah. You want to throw uh, back eight, back 12? Okay. Yeah. I don't have to give you much more. Back right? 12? Yeah, I think so. Well, uh, you're just going to leave him at, well, that's not good. That's good. Yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> I just got to give you another. Where's room. this? Okay, back 12. Looking for about back 12 weight. They're trying to tap their blue one back to the eight foot and roll on top of the red stone, the red Epping stone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Whoa. Trying to get a, create an angle for themselves. Whoa. I think he uh, he kind of left the the blue on top of the house here. If, if Team Epping makes nose on that, the red will jam straight back potentially into both of those yellows and uh, leave John shot behind the corner. Potentially bringing that two into play. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure Lift there the what Tyner was trying to... Low is pretty awesome. I guess they were trying to maybe roll so over more peels, fine, in front of that redstone. He, he definitely wanted to tap back the blue that was uh, originally on the, the right side of the forefoot there. He, he, kept, out. he kept gesturing to move that back. I think he was worried about John getting a hit and roll off of that. Agreed. So they maybe did accomplish that, out, but now unfortunately uh, we kind of have the sandwich here. So the uh, the Epping Rock is in the middle okay, of the peel, peel, Team Buick sandwich. Low. So typically only the, uh, the the bread goes, but the middle of the sandwich stays. <laughs> in a food analogy, it, it is, you know, after lunch and all. So. <laughs> you speak like a father of kids, boys who eat a lot. <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Ryan Fry. Whoa. Trying to almost get to nose. Might make both of those blues go away. Oh, great shot. What no, a great gonna... shot. Great shot. Yeah, bit of a freeze on the uh, half freeze on the the Buick shot yeah, back not there. Bad. Not much we can do with the one. Eh? We kind of leave him triple. What's that? Not much we can do with the no, wall. No, you're just gonna, him you're gonna go like that, and then he's got the double back, and then yeah. we're, we're kind of screwed. Could I think play you it. hit that one. Yeah, I could play it right into the one too, right? Uh, I don't like, I don't like that in case you're there. Yeah, like if, if you're throwing. Oh, I, I think you'd, you, you'd be better off just rolling, just rolling and there, yeah, the rings. yeah. And then you roll, shrink the rings. What is he doing, right? Like, yeah. You want to roll dead buried behind? Like you can be shot dead buried. Yeah, behind, behind theirs. Yeah. 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 Okay. We've seen this, right? Yeah. Ish. That same control waiter? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just hit and roll, buried behind the red. We don't want to over roll it, but the, like nose isn't the end of the world, so that same control weight that I've been throwing. Healy Tanner wants to roll under here and certainly beat out some of the uh, the Epping Rocks. He'd like to be shot, he said, after after this. And he said a nose hit isn't horrible, but I think job yep. number one, he'd love to hit and roll yep. and be shot. Yes, that would yep. be an ideal outcome. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. Hard, whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll it, roll it. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 What a great, great shot. Yeah. Pretty nice shot there by Tanner. Great roll. Pretty much completely underneath. Still that quick stuff we saw down here. Your second one slipped pretty good. Now for John, he does have the, uh, the tap here if he can throw sort of back four weight. He just has to move it really out of the forefoot so that he's lying to, he's calling for back eight. Yeah, if we want to get picky, you know, Tanner's rock did overthrow or roll oh, two inches yeah. too far, right? You're, you're right, it is sticking out ever so slightly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A very difficult shot here for John. T-line back four. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Back four. Whoa. Losing weight here. Yep! Not Ooh. really sure what happened there other than it was light, but they kind of lost it halfway down. That rock is pretty much gone, eh? What? That rock's pretty much gone. If we guard. Well, let's talk about it. Like, if I made that, he's not, he, like the draws are a mystery right now, right? Off, yeah. I don't but I mean, it. you you lock this. Well, pretty much guaranteed steal. He's got to play this probably. He's gonna he well, he's just gonna he's gonna throw that with not not a whole lot of risk, right? He's just gotta hit a thin somewhere. What's your I goal here, Paul? Right now, steal I don't hit force. Good. Like normal weight, you make that roll. I, I think the math no, is agree. pretty close either way, to be honest. You could also uh, just pick it. But I think where, where Tanner was putting his broom there. 
Sort of where what's, he was standing. If he threw a guard to block the draw path, the, the I think John is forced think, to probably run that in to maybe get one. Like and if that's the worst case scenario well, for well, you that thing. you're coming home you tied that, with, I think that's a you know a great line. situation Absolutely. for Team Newark. So. I mean, you can pick it out too and give him the draw to the pin for one. Or you can throw the guard and, as you say, make him play a, a harder run back through. So not an easy situation either way here for John Epping. So I think we should kill that one. Like four steals is great, right? You can just peel it. Okay. Do we need to do that? Like if you just peel it, it's the same. Same difference? Pretty much, right? Like that's a little better, but. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If he peels it out here, he's guaranteed at worst the force. Sure. Okay, just, just let's, let's just get rid of it with. Uh, but I really don't see yeah, like the only thing I don't anything want other than that. Right? Yeah, I know. Anyways, yeah. with the guard so either, so. Agreed. Yeah, Whatever you feel yeah. comfortable with here. Certainly the draw, and as, as Tanner mentioned, the, the draw I don't think is. This is a different call. Is, <laughs> is straightforward. <laughs> this is a bit of a different I call. I don't feel good about <laughs> tossing that guard right now. <laughs> Yeah, we're just getting rid of it. Okay. Again, there were paths that have been used a lot that uh, got really fast. So maybe Tanner was concerned that if it got in the straight spot and carried, maybe worst case scenario, carried into the house and left it some sort of skinny double for John to get his two out of nowhere, that would be the worst. So if you're not feeling it, this is a great uh, alternative. Yep. Clean. And yep, if it's yep. not there, it can't count. Hard, clean. Hard, hard, make sure it goes. Roll it, roll it. Good. Great pick out. Nice shot. So not an easy draw for John here. It looks like he's hitting the back one to give up It looks up like one. he's hitting the back one. Again, that could be uh, indicative of how both skips are feeling about the, uh, the, draw, the draw weight. weight. Not quite sure. Don't want to certainly give the game away here by trying to draw the button and sail through. It is very quick down that path. So this is the final stone in the seventh end. Control. John Epping looking Control. for pretty much a nose hit, I think. Yep. To give up a steal of one. And there you go. So it is one on the board for Team Buke. It is a now 5-3. Buke over Epping with one end to play. Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Northern Credit Union, a true partner sweeping you to financial victory keeping your dollars where they belong we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now.
I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. And here we go, back in the Penticton Curling Club. This is the eighth end of draw number six at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. The battle between Team Epping and Team Buick. It was a steal of one, a purposeful steal of one, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Paul, simply because uh, I think John not feeling the draw there, and also the fact that it is very difficult to steal in the eighth end. Yeah, I think that uh, both skips were talking about uncertainty around the weight and how fast it is going away there so I think John was concerned about having to draw the edge of the pin uh, for one and if things went sideways he could have given up two which would probably be game so he was willing to give up one keep hammer here at eight so he's going to be uh, he's all in for his uh, his deuce to go to the extra here in this end so he's definitely happy to see any rocks in play to use those later on in this end. And the first one there by Scott Chadwick actually came up short. And his second one is the one that's sitting top four, two corners by Brent Lang. And just a quick update around the sheets. Over on sheet A, Team Robillard steals another one in seven. So they are up six to four in the eighth end against Team Dangerfield. Team Cotter climbing back a little bit, got two on the board. So they are down one to Team Howard, six five. Can't quite see. Uh, Giel, yeah. Giel yeah. Chong is difficult. Everyone is standing Giel's on the backboards. Giel's winning, but I, I can't see the score right now. Over on sheet E, uh, one on the board for Team Cam. They're still down 5-4 to Team Matsumira. And as far as we can guess, we think that uh, Team Dunstone got one on the board in seven. So they are down 5-3 in the eighth then without hammer. A little bit of room. Trying to keep Coach Paul focused on our sheet. Line's good, line's good. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge, but I keep poking yeah, him and telling right. him to keep hey, his eyes. Hi, uh, hi, keep his hi, eyes on hi, the prize. Hi, hi. Yep. So here yep. we go. Yep. This is yep. Jake Horgan throwing a hard, looks like another ball. guard. Wow. Wow. Hard, 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 hard. I think uh, I guess Tanner isn't feeling that they're gonna be able to get out of the uh, the two corners that John was able to throw, so so now we're in a spot where, yeah, the blues, boys. can they can they make enough shots to get there too? There's plenty of guards in play. You don't often see Call four guards in the eighth here, after right? five shots. So now it's up to Team Epping to try and use some of those four guards. Trying to come around that one that was just thrown by Jake Corgan. Not sure I would have been inclined to throw yeah, yet another guard, but well, line's great. Tanner's got a plan. Hard. And just having a look over in sheet C, the sheet that we missed, Team Gill with a 7-3 lead over Team Zhang in the seventh end. A couple of rocks left there to go in the seventh. And that is a great shot by Matt Cam. And Tanner not looking to peel. He's he's hoping to junk it up here, looking to clog the forefoot area. I, I guess I'm maybe just struggling with this a little bit, Paul, simply because we know both teams have been questioning the weight and, you know, are a little uncertain of the draw weight in certain places. So to only. play this offensive style whoa, game yeah. when you're up to without hammer whoa, whoa. I guess I'm just not quite on board yet I'll get there we'll see how this end plays whoa. out okay let me know <laughs> <laughs> again lots of opportunities oh just by the wide one I think when you're down two points your goal is to put lots of rocks in play and that's exactly what yeah, both think, teams are doing <laughs> yeah I think John was expecting to have to make something quite heroic Maybe to That's get his two. Sort of 
but uh, now that there's so many rocks in play. No, I agree. John's probably leaving that angle runner on the left, but I think you've got to make this well, entry. Blue's coming in no matter what. So right now it looks like, oh, maybe blue might not come in. Yes. Yeah. I, okay. I, no, I know. I, I, I like your, I love your call, but I'm just saying we know that blue's. Probably does shoot this one. And he's, it's coming in for sure. So do we just you go around the corner and delay right? it a bit? I got the angle runner right now. Yeah. yeah. I know. What do we call this speed here? Feet, four feet more. Your guard. So, Paul, I, th I think they've chosen to go around that corner guard. Is that right? I think so. Trying to take the play away from the center a little here. Nope, oh, he's. Yeah. I'm not sure which one he's oh, throwing here. Close. I thought he was going Whoa. around the other corner. I think he's Mine's going around great. the the high the corner. High well, I can say that now. I don't yes. think he is going <laughs> around the high corner. <laughs> right here. Nice. A great line. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Good shot, Matt. It's a great spot. Well, team Epping line two, three. Yeah. Yeah. How much do you have? I think that one poked out the other side yeah, there, so they're job. just having a look to see if they can see enough of it. Chase that. Uh, yeah, I guess you can see at least half maybe from the hack yep. if you're a right-hander. How's it going on your sheet, Paul? It looks a little tense over there. Uh, yeah. You're not watching anymore? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like uh, Team Dunstone is lying two with two centers, one on top of the button, one back four, and they never put up the score from seven, so I'm not really sure what happened over there. Well, you know, you're up at least one, maybe two with Whoa. hammer, and you're having to Whoa. throw a freeze to one on the button. That's Whoa. never a no, good thing. not a good thing. Girl, girl. Please, please, please. It's because you didn't write girl, any notes girl, the last girl. end. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You put your book girl. away. Girl. Right. This looks Whoa. like a great shot. Great shot. Nicely done there. Nice touch by John Buke. I thought I slid same body speed and added five feet. Oh yeah? Oops. Freezer in there? <laughs> yeah. And I'm only laughing because uh, Paul's getting tenser and tenser by the second over here as Tyler Tardy slipped to the back eight on his first one. So they're in a heap of trouble in this eighth end. I sure wish they would have put that score up, but we can only assume that Dunstone got the single in, in the seventh. Let's look elsewhere, Paul. Yes. Let's look on this sheet that we're watching. Let's see what Ryan's got here. I think Ryan's now throwing the come around as well. See, line is looking like it's a little hot. Yep. Just past the tee. Oh, just rubbed off. Sweeper's kind of given, given up on it, but uh, I think it's fully buried, though. We just, uh, just want to make sure we're rolling. You can see yeah, a piece just, for sure, and that guard finish. is pretty high. We're rolling. We do have all six yeah. sheets still Off in roll. play out here on this draw number six. I'm trying to think how John is going to be able to manufacture his two here. He doesn't have a lot of good angles. Whoa. The rocks in front of the forefoot are both Yeah, not a lot of draw pass to the forefoot Hard. either. Hard. 
So for Jonathan Buke here, trying to remove that red stone that was just thrown there by Ryan Fry. Hit and roll to the center would be awesome. Oh, yes. What a great shot by John. Terrific shot. <laughs> Just a little update over on sheet F. It it's looks like queued up. it's kind of lined up. Dunstone line three with one rock to play. And a head shake by Coach Paul. It's like he has to draw edge of button to pull this game out. Okay, best if we keep looking on our sheet. Yep. <laughs> Lots of close like games out there right now. Ryan Fry trying oh, to draw, actually freeze, I think, to that back one. Whoa, yeah, their scoring whoa, zone whoa. is getting really small whoa, now. Really whoa, small, whoa. I agree. Whoa, 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 whoa! T-Light! Look away, Paul, look away. Yes! Hard! Hard! Hard. Rushers are on and off it. What a great shot by Ryan Fry. Nice shot. And is it a steal of two? Well, he, he might, like if we're and here. a steal of two for Matt Dunstone. So they're going to go to an extra end over on sheet F. Paul, write some notes down on sheet on that <laughs> end. Yeah. Well, Tanner's just got to protect against the two here. So Tanner's line uh, second and third. If he throws up a guard, what does Team Epping have here? He does have the run of the, the blue guard straight back and double the two out. It's very tight. He'd have to just get by the red freeze. I still think it's the call. But I'm not sure what else Epping will have at that point. Yeah, I think so. Just, just tight, kind of try to pull them both away. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got six feet heavy. I don't see anything better here, so top 12. We're down to skip stones here yeah. in the eighth end. Tanner Horgan with his first, without hammer. He's just trying to get one half buried around there, Paul. I think so. Just making John's shot that much harder. Yep, line's a little tight. Yep, hard line, yep, yep. hard line, hard yeah. line. Yeah, go line, gotta go line. Gotta go line. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa line's good. Whoa. Like to be. Whoa, whoa, gotta stop. Gotta stop. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, get here, get here. Yep, hard, hard, hard. Trying to get it past so that red good. raise isn't there, but I think that's yeah. in an okay spot, isn't it? Curled maybe a little bit too much. A bit too much. I think John is eyeing that corner right run right. either into the back one or the top one. That's probably better straight onto this. Because then I got in off that for two. Or three, sorry. Yeah, either one. Onto this or onto this is good, right? Yeah. This will probably give us more chance. Three, onto this does. Yeah. Lock it on. What are you seeing? Like uh, con normal? Control? What's that? Normal? Control? Solid control. Yeah. Get that back there. and. I agree. Oh, I know. Yeah. 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 Okay. So solid control-ish. Yeah, they're definitely landing on the back ones. Do you think I'm planted on the back? Yeah. The final Three quarters, eight, two I thirds, so two thirds. Yeah. I didn't see who uh, scored an eight. something. Yeah. I think. U2 Matsumura may have got his single 
in the eighth then and has a 6-4 final. Good precise shot here for John. Looks like we have an extra end over on sheet A Go as well control. between Dangerfield and Robillard as I see the rocks going down the far end. So big shot here for John Epping with his first rock in the eighth end with hammer. Got a curl. Just a bit too thin. If they guard that, Paul, is there a shot anywhere for two? I guess blue onto red onto red or something like that. Yeah. Yes, could do that or blue. Uh, the blue run through the hole there now, hitting the, speed will be the too blue on the top of the right. floor and just still there. checking out the back four one. Zero room <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for error. Either way, whatever John plays on his last, it's going to be very difficult to get his two. So I can report over on sheet F in the X or N. Tyler Tardy with hammer. Looks like two perfect splits by the big boy, Tot. Jordan Tardy. Do you know why I call him Tot? I, I do, but you can say. <laughs> the other Tardy, T-O-T, -T, Tot. And he's by, fa by far a Tot. He's like seven feet tall, I think. <laughs> I think he's added Tater in front of Tot now <laughs> tater because tot. of your Tot. So <laughs> now he's Tater Tot. That's Good. even better. So here we go. Last stone for Tanner Horgan. Yep. Yep. Just trying to Throw one anywhere right, on the right-hand side to protect that short Hard. red run. Got to finish. Hard, you got to go. Finish it. Finish it hard. This, they hard. had. Just there's not been one rock, I think, down this particular long. path. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, 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 he yep. is just to get it over and in line, and it looks pretty darn good. Is there? Oh. A, is there a hole there? Wow. Oh, I With guess it's so long. Turn? With some weight. I guess the guard is so long, John can kind of like back line across oh, the face. Kind of cross face it. Yeah. Board hit it two thirds it's, low. It's probably easier than his other options, which are all very difficult. I would agree, and this is for the tie only. They can't even get the win out of this difficult go. shot, so this is for the tie. It's kind of like back 12 ish. He's hoping for some face. extra end action. Yeah. Bonus coverage. For the fans. <laughs> we already have two extra ends going on out there right now. No. It was two on the board for Team Dangerfield, so Team Robillard with Hammer in the extra end. And this is the final stone. Eighth end, John Epping looking to throw back 12, hoping to cross that red yeah. stone and uh, push it back onto yeah. red, onto red, onto blue. Curling, is he by the long one? No, I think Ryan's given up on him there. Oh, just rubbed. Really close. So it is a final score. Be one on the board for red. So it's a final score of 5-4. Team Buke over Team Epping. And that is the conclusion of this game. And for Paul Tardy, thanks for joining us in the booth, Paul. Melissa Saligo, we will be back at 345 and I think we'll give John Cullen his drawback. I definitely, yes. Fantastic. Thanks for having me, though. It's All right, thanks for here. coming. And thanks for being here. We'll see you at 345. Great.